in this lecture we are going to see how we can get the pixel color of an image that is when we click on a particular point on an image the color at that point will be fetched and it will be displayed somewhere else so this will act something like a color picker okay so how we can do that that is we want to get the color at a particular point on an image the html5 canvas offers some methods to get the pixel information so we are going to make use of html5 canvas to get the pixel color on an image so let me first add a canvas element it is an html5 element so canvas let me add an id as my canvas okay and if the browser does not support html5 canvas it should be informed to the user so we can display a message like your browser does not support html5 canvas it is a good programming practice that is if the browser does not support that particular feature it should be displayed to the user okay next i am going to add a div element where we will display the color of the particular point okay so let me specify the div id as display and let me add the height and width for this div element so style width let the width be 200 px and the height be 100 px so what we are going to do when we get the color of a particular point we will display this div element in that particular color so that it will be more clear to see now what we need to do we need to add the image to this canvas element so how we can do that let me access the canvas first so i'm going to access it using its id that is using id selector my canvas what this will return actually this will return a jquery object but i want it as a dome element because i'm going to use some methods so i don't need this canvas as a jquery object instead i need it as a row dom element itself so what should i do i need to use the get method and pass the index as it is the first element the index will be zero this is because that i want to get it as a dom element next we need to get the context for this canvas because all the methods and properties related to canvas are offered by context so let me get the context where context equals canvas dot get context and i need to specify 2d because i'm expecting a 2d context okay next what i should do i should add the image to this canvas so how i can do that let me first create an image object where image equals new image and let me specify the source for this image that is where this image actually lies as this flower.jpg and this pixel color.html lie in the same folder i just have to specify the name of the file its name is actually flower3.jpg then once the image is ready so dollar image dot load that is once the image is ready i need to add it to the canvas element so function within curly braces i need to write the code and to add an image to the context i need to use the draw image method so it is draw image and i need to pass the image and also specify the location so let it be at zero zero so now what will happen this image will be added to this canvas element so let us see whether it is working or not refresh see the image is added next what we need to do when we click somewhere on the image we need to get the pixel color at that particular point so we can write our code on the click event so when we click somewhere on the canvas now the image is added to the canvas element so dot click we need to write the code so here what should we do we need to write function and we have to write the code within this now how we can get the mouse coordinates that is x and y values for the clicked point in fact it will be returned by page x and page y of the 
corresponding event actually. So what we can do is we can pass the event and get the event dot page x and event dot page y. So let me first try to display it event dot page x and also event dot page y. This is just to show you the values event dot page y refresh. Let me click here that is at the very starting point. See it is showing 11 11 actually it should be some 2 or 3 because we are clicking at the very first point but it is showing something like this why is it happening so as you see here there is a small gap between the page and the canvas element see there is a small gap that is why we are seeing some different value so what should we do is we should either display this one at this point how we can display that if we style the canvas that is let me add the style tag to add some CSS and if I specify canvas and position as absolute and the top as 0 and left as 0 now what will happen let me show you refresh see the image is displayed like this that is there is no gap at this point and now if I click at this point see it is displaying 3 and 4 okay naturally there will be a gap between the parent element that is body in this case and the child elements when it is positioned so either you have to position like this or you have to subtract this gap we already had from this point I think this is looking a bit odd so what we can do is we can remove this and here we can get the top and left position of the canvas actually. So let me remove this and let me specify a variable where canvas gap and let me get the offset that is the left and top positions for our canvas element. So dollar canvas dot offset this will return the left and top positions. Now what we can do, we can get the clicked value, let me specify it as x, actual x will be the x coordinate of the clicked value. How we can get it? I am going to use math.floor to round it and we need to specify event.pagex minus we need to subtract the canvas gap dot left. This will subtract that small gap from this clicked value. Okay. Similarly, we need to get the actual y equals math dot floor, then event dot page y minus canvas gap dot top. So this will give the actual value after subtracting this small gap fresh and let me try to show you the actual x and actual y's value so actual x actual y now we will get the correct value so let me save refresh let me click here see we are getting 3 3 previously we have been getting 11 11 because there is a gap of 8 points here and here so one option is we can set the position to absolute then it will be moved to this point but it was looking a bit odd so what we have done we have just subtracted that gap from the clicked value which will give the correct value now we have the x and y coordinates of the clicked point next what we need to do we need to get the pixel information for that point in fact this context offers a get image data method which will give us the pixel data and for each pixel there will be four pieces of information that is the red green blue and alpha values so we are going to use that get image data method so let me remove this and let me specify a variable as where pixel data equals it is offered by context and the method is get image data and we need to specify the starting point and the width and height 
of the rectangle because the get image data method returns the pixel data for a particular rectangle and for that rectangle we need to specify the starting point and also the height and width of the rectangle so for that we are going to specify the starting point as actual x and actual y and as we need the information for only one pixel i am specifying the height and width as one okay so normally suppose if you specify here 0 0 10 10 it will be an array of information and it will start the information from 0 0 value till 10 10 so in this case we need the information for only one pixel so we are specifying the height and width as 1 and to get the information we need to use a data property because this data property stores the color information in an array so let me specify pixel data dot data this will return the information as an array now for each pixel we will get the red green blue and alpha values the alpha value actually is a measure of transparency that is if the value is zero the image will not be visible and as the value increases the image will be more visible so it is a measure of transparency so we need to get all those values so if you just get the length of this data you could see that it is four as there are four pieces of information for each pixel so let me show you that refresh let me click somewhere see it is four so we need to get each value and convert it into the particular color so how we can get the color for that particular point now if you just see data of zero you could see a value between zero and 255 because it is the value of red color so we need to convert this to a rgb value so how we can do that let me specify where pixel color equals what we need to do we can specify rgb then we need to have a bracket okay then we should specify data of zero this is the reds value then we need to put a comma actually after this red value that is when we represent the color as rgb it will be like rgb opening bracket then red colors value comma green colors value comma blue colors value comma then the transparency value and finally closing the bracket so this is the first comma then we need to specify data of one because it will return the value for green so let me copy this and specify one again we need to have a comma then again we need to specify the value for blue so it will be 2 and again we need a comma and finally we need to pass the value for transparency so it will be at data of 3 next what we need to do we need to close the bracket okay so this will give us the pixel color in rgb format next what we need to do we have to display it for this div element so let me access the div element it is display and dot css let us set the background color of this css to be this pixel color so let us check now whether we are getting the output as we expect refresh let me click at some point okay we are not getting the output why okay as we are passing the value of alpha that is the measure of transparency it is not rgb actually it is rgba okay so if we are passing only the values for red green and blue it is okay to specify rgb here we are passing the value of transparency as well that is the value of alpha so we need to specify a here refresh see this div element is currently being displayed on that particular color that is where i am clicking let me click here see it is displayed in another green color let me click here see it is the color of the bud 
let me click here see it is a different pink as you see here the color changes as I click on different points okay so this is acting like a color picker actually so we have used the canvas element to get the pixel information so first we have added the canvas element and this div element is to display the particular color and what we have done we have collected the canvas we use the get method as we want to get the element as a dome element then we use the get context method to get the context because this context is offering the methods and properties related to canvas then we added an image we set the source property to the image object and once the image is ready that is why we have specified load here we have added the image to the canvas element using draw image method we need to pass the image and then the points that is where we want to add the image then here we have to get this because there is a small gap when an element is positioned naturally because the element is positioned with respect to its parent element so there is a small gap we collected that value using the offset method which will return the top and left values then we subtracted that value from the currently clicked point so we get the actual x and y values then we use the get image data method which is offered by the canvas element it gives the pixel information for a specified rectangle so here as we need it only for a particular point we have specified one and one here and this data is the property which returns the pixel data as an array so as of now this data is an array which contains the pixel information that is the values for red green blue and alpha then we just concatenated the values in the required format because we want the color in rgba format so the value should be actually displayed like this r g b a then the value of r g b and alpha so to get the value in this format we have used this plus operator to concatenate the values the pixel color now contains the color in this format and so we use the css to style our div element with this color so we have implemented a color picker like when we click at a particular point the color of that particular pixel will be fetched and a div is displayed in that color so you can create different versions for this color picker actually this is the simple version